Smile and learn. Greetings, citizens. I am Super Lexia, the guardian of spelling and grammar. I help make language excellent by following the rules. Let's defeat spelling and grammar mistakes with the power of clear and impactful expression. Today we're going to talk about plural nouns. Hmm, what are plural nouns? Well, a noun is a person, place, thing, animal, or idea. A plural noun is a word that names more than one person, place, thing, animal, or idea. When we write plural nouns, we always have to look at the end of the word. Normally, we add an s to make a plural noun like this: cat, cats, ant, ants, bed, beds. But beware! Some nouns end like a snake, hissing. Listen to these hissing letters: s, s, x, ch, sh, z. If a noun ends in one of these hissing letters, and we want to make it plural, we have to add es, and we say es. Kiss, kisses, box, boxes, ostrich, ostriches, quiz, quizzes. Actually, just one quiz is fine with me. Now, if the noun ends in a y, we have to look at the letter before the y. And ask ourselves: Is it a consonant or a vowel? D is a consonant, so if there is a consonant before the Y, we have to change the Y to an I and add es. Teddy, teddies, story, stories. Bunny, bunnies. Oh, so cute! But what if a vowel comes before the Y? For example, E is a vowel. So, if there is a vowel before the Y, we keep the Y and just add s. Easy peasy. Monkey, monkeys, toy, toys, key, keys. Okay, citizens, here's your mission. These nouns are super, so we want more. Can you make them plural? How did you do? Farewell, fellow language warriors. May words be forever in your favor. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.